Good morning students. Welcome to the sixth part of coordinate geometry. In this session, we will apply the distance formula to quadrilaterals. In the previous class, we have learned how can we apply this distance formula to triangles. We found the lengths of the sides of the triangles and we categorized them into equilateral, isosceles or scalene. That is by calculating the lengths of the sides, we could, we could classify it or we, can, we could tell whether it was an equilateral triangle or an isosceles triangle or a scalene triangle. Now we will apply this formula to the case of quadrilaterals. Before going to that, let us once again recapitulate the distance formula. Suppose you have two points A x1 y1, B x2 y2 in the coordinate plane and you want to calculate the distance between these two parts. What is the formula you have to make use of? Very good. Square root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. That is you calculate the distance between the two x coordinates and then you calculate the distance between two y co coordinates. Find the squares, add the two squares and take the square root of the value. Now we will apply this formula to the case of quadrilaterals. For that we will take an example where a horse rider, as we know we call, he call it, he is called as a jockey and uh, we have seen this in the movie recently acted by Sai Dharm Tej. Can you tell me the name of the movie? Very good. It's the movie's uh, winner. Now, he is practicing in the ground. Now, he has started from a point A in the coordinate plane and he is moving to the point B. And how far did he travel now? Right. He has traveled from A to B and we can find the distance from A to B using the distance formula and it is A to B. Now, he has changed his direction and he moved to another point in the coordinate plane. Now, the distance moved by him is BC. Now he turned once again, he changed his direction. Now he moved from C to D. Now what is the distance that he has traveled? Exactly, it is CD. Now his journey is over and he is coming back again to his starting point. That is, he once again changed his direction. He moved from D to A. Then the distance traveled by him from D to A is DA. Now by traveling from A to B, B to C, C to D, and again from D to A, in this case, he has actually formed a closed figure. Can you tell me the name of this closed figure? Very good. This is a very well-known uh, figure to us. This we call it as actually a quadrilateral. Now, we have to find the lengths of these quadrilaterals and we have to tell which type of quadrilateral is this. Now, as we know, this is a quadrilateral. If you name it as ABCD. Now, here, what are the sides of this quadrilateral? AB, BC. C, D and D, A. These are called sides of the quadrilateral. And in case of quadrilateral, we have two more line segments joined by non-adjacent vertices. That is joining the, in, in other words, joining the opposite vertices. They are called, what are they called? Very good. They are called the diagonals. Here the diagonals are A, C and B, D. So these are the basic concepts that you have to remember when you use a distance formula for quadrilaterals. And based on the lengths of the sides, let us once again revise the concept of quadrilaterals here. Now, these quadrilaterals, when you find the lengths, we can have, we will have two different cases. The case one is, all four sides of the quadrilateral equal or two pairs of opposite sides are equal. That means two sides, you will have one length and for other two sides, you will have another length. Now, in case of quadrilaterals, there are two quadrilaterals which have all the four sides equal. Can you tell me which are they? Very good. They are a rhombus and a square. In case of a rhombus and a square also, both these four sides are equal. But what is the difference between a rhombus and a square? Exactly. In a square, in addition to that, all angles are 90s. Now there are Two cases in which opposite sides are equal, pairs of opposite sides. One case is a rectangle and the other is a parallelogram. Now here we have slight difference between a rectangle and a parallelogram. In case of a parallelogram, opposite sides are angles are equal, but in case of a rectangle, all the four angles are equal and all four angles are right angles. Now if you have this case where you have a square, diagonals are also equal. In addition to the four sides equal, in case of a square, all, I mean, two diagonals are also equal. The same property 
rectangle is also having which means the diagonals are also equal so one different there are actually two main differences or one difference in case of lengths of the sides and diagonals is in a rhombus just four sides are equal and diagonals need not be equal but in case of a square in addition to the four sides equal the diagonals are also equal the same is true in case of rectangle also in case of rectangle and parallelogram opposite sides are equal but in a rectangle has an addition property which is diagonals are also equal now in this case you will have questions asked to classify the given picture formed by four vertices whether it is a rhombus or a square or a rectangle or a parallelogram you will have these questions so you will be given four vertices and you will you will be asked to find if it is a rhombus or a square or a rectangle or a parallelogram suppose you are given to find whether it is a rhombus now what you have to do is you have to find the four sides of the quadrilateral if you get all the four sides equal you can simply say the four sides of the quadrilateral abcd or pqr is equal therefore it is a rhombus then you can stop it suppose you are asked to prove that the given shape is a square then also you have to prove that all four sides equal and in addition to that you have to prove one more thing what is that one more addition thing you have to prove very good you have to prove that diagonals also are also equal then you have to stop so in addition to finding four sides and you have to show that four sides equal you have to show that the two diagonals are also equal that is a case of a rhombus and a square suppose you are given four vertices and you are asked to verify if it is a parallelogram then what you have to do is you have to find the four sides then you have to get two pairs of opposite sides equal so that is for two sides you have to get one value and for two other sides you have to get one more value then if you get opposite sides equal then it is a parallelogram then you can stop the problem but you are asked to show that if the given picture if the polygon if the quadrilateral is a rectangle excuse me then also you have to prove that pairs of opposite sides are equal and in addition to that what is that extra property that we have to prove exactly you have to prove that the diagonals are also equal so you are given question on rhombus and a parallelogram yes you have to find the four sides if you get all four sides equal you have to write it as a rhombus if you get pairs of opposite sides equal you can write it is a parallelogram but you are asked to find if it is a square or a rectangle in addition to finding the four sides you have to find the diagonals also that means you have to use the distance formula six times for a square and a rectangle you have to use a formula for distance for four times in case of a rhombus and a parallelogram exactly now we'll take a problem then we'll solve it you can understand this much better you have a case here Prove that the quadrilateral formed by joining the points A minus one one, B three three, C two five, D minus two three is a rectangle. Now you have to prove that this figure is a rectangle. That is what you have to prove now. What is that you have to prove to prove that this is a rectangle? Yes, we have discussed. You have to to prove that this is a rectangle. You have to you have to prove that their opposite sides are equal. and also the two diagonals are also equal so that is what you have to write here to prove that abcd is a rectangle we have to prove that opposite sides that means ab and cd are opposite so you have to prove ab is equal to cd then bc is equal to da then you have to prove that the diagonals are also equal what are the diagonals here ac and bd so let us prove this first let's find the sides let us find the side ab as you are all familiar with finding the distances between two points i will not take much time here you have to take a and b you have to take the distance formula a is taken as x1 y1 and b is x2 y2 x2 minus x1 whole square 3 minus of minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 1 whole square you have 4 square plus 2 square which is square root of 20 now let us find the next side which is cd or bc ab and bc right now we have to use b and c Now B will be x1 y1 and C will be x2 
y2. Once again, you have to make use of the formula x2 minus x1 whole square, 2 minus 3 whole square plus 5 minus 3 whole square. You have minus 1 whole square plus 2 square, which will be square root of 5. Then let us find the other two sides. We found a, b and b, c. So let us find c, d. Now for c, d, c will become the first point, d will become the second. So x1, y1, x2, y2. Once again, you have to make use of the formula to find c, d. Then let us find the other side, which is d, a. Now d will become x1, y1 and a will become x2, y2. So x2 minus x1 whole square. You find this length of the side. So we have found the four sides also. If the question is about a parallelogram, you can stop here. Just you have to find the four sides only. But now the question is about a rectangle. So you have to go a step further and we have to find what, are, what is that you have to find? Very good. You have to find the lengths of the diagonals also. So let us find the lengths of the diagonal AC. So this is A and C. A will be x1, y1 and C will be x2, y2. Once again we have to make sure the same distance formula. Here I got square root of 25. So as you know square root of 25 is 5. So the first diagonal is 5 units. Let us find the second diagonal also. Now here second diagonal I have got it as again for B and D. B is x1, y1, D is x2, y2. So this is minus by whole square plus 0 square. As actually these y coordinates are equal, you can use modulus of x2 minus x1 also. That's also okay. So here also I got CD. Actually this is a mistake here. AC it should be BD here. Make a correction here. It should be BD. Excuse me for that. It should be BD here. So BD is also 5 units. So what is that you have got here? Now we have found their 4 sides. And we have proved that AB is equal to CD, BC is equal to DA and the diagonals are also equal. So the figure we have here is a, what is that figure we have got? It is a rectangle. Therefore ABCD is a rectangle. That is what you have to do to show that the given shape is a rectangle. If it is a square, you have to do the same procedure. But you will get all four sides equal. You have to write AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA and diagonals also equal. So that is what you have to do. I hope you understood this well. So you pause at the classification of quadrilateral I explained. Just you recollect them once again. Keep them in your mind. What is that you have to prove for each figure? Then you go on to solving the problems. Here is an assignment that you have to solve. Today I have given three problems. Prove that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, a square and a rhombus. For your convenience I have given you a hint also. So solve these problems. Post the answers to me, then you will be familiar with the types of the quadrilaterals and your concept of distance formula will be strengthened. So this is what you have to do in case of application of a distance formula for quadrilaterals. Thank you.